All right, guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week, we're actually going to venture outside to run the bullhead. I didn't quite get to film as much as I'd liked, but we've got a solid bit of video. I've got a new camera, so I was fiddling with the settings, and about half the footage was unusable, so here's what's left. The bullhead ran rather well, the low profile servos look like they've held up nicely, and the dampers, even if the oil's a bit thick, have made a massive difference to the drivability. Unfortunately, my dad who was driving quite a bit decided to attempt a wheelie, which the truck did, but it also used the back of the body as a wheelie bar, so we've got some paint to fix. I think I'll have to add some sort of protection back there, maybe some sticky back vinyl, or maybe a plastic lip. So as far as the good, as mentioned, the dampers works a treat, and the dual ESCs are working just as they should, as are the steering servos. In fact, most of the time it was running with just the front wheel steering. When cruising around it was more than enough, and made it a bit less likely to tip over if you were a bit aggressive. The only bad thing that really stands out is the centre of gravity. It's really high. I reckon it's higher than the old clodbuster, which is saying something. You have to be ready to steer out of rolls before the truck gets too far, and it really keeps you on your toes. Now I'm going to leave the ball head going with some slow-mo jumps at the end, and I'll tack on some full-size hyperlapse driving down a local road, playing with the new camera and all that. Plus, it'll bulk things out a bit. There's no audio in the video, so I'll stick some music over it. As always, thanks for watching, like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys.